you don't need to get me in it. But first step, <laughs> the first step of making the um, solar panel to connect with your Arlo is you get a power cable that fits in the Arlo. So you have to make sure that you can plug this in because otherwise you can make it and it can be frustrating. And this one looks like it's, it's so marginal. What I don't understand is this one. This one plugs in similarly. So it took me a second, but I got it plugged in. However, I want to make sure that it shows as being charged. Okay. All right, so I plugged in the one that was in there and it shows as being charged. So now what I'm going to do, so the best way to make it is get an old micro USB cable. Now, based on how this one fit, I'm thinking I might want to shave it a little bit, make it easier to fit outside, but it will work like this. Let me check the connection again. Now, the reason why you'd rather use a power micro USB rather than a standard micro USB is because the AC adapter, it's going to have two... Um, wires in it. Yeah, see, it looks kind of strange like that. Well, that's going to give a, a good snug connection. But the AC plug only has two wires. I mean, you can see there's two wires there. Where a old USB plug is going to have four wires inside it. So I would think these two wires are going to be stronger, but we'll see when we cut it up in just a second. Okay. Now, this is why I'm doing this video, is because I attempted to make one yesterday with the old uh, Samsung cable. But when I, I got it together, I plugged it into my mom's phone, which still uses the micro USB. It showed that it's charging. However, when I got it back out to plug it into the Arlo, it wouldn't fit. That's why I'm making this video. So I took a, a grinding wheel and I grind it down. And then after grinding it down all the way to the metal, I'm like, mm, that's not too good. Let me just try it with a different cable. So I'm going to chop this one off. Goodbye. Okay, and I'm also going to chop off, I'm going to give me some slack on this. I'm going to chop off right about there. I will separate this. Oh good, I have enough nails to do it. I'm going to use the wire strippers. I'm going to have links uh, to where you can get inexpensive solar panels. Uh, however, I had an old solar panel from a security light, which I kept around, just in case it could be useful like this. Now, you got to be very careful because this uh, wire is a little bit different in terms of it's, it's two wires in one. Except 
it's one shielded by the other. And I'm just going to set up a temporary connection because I want to make sure that we're getting power. So I have an old phone. Notice I said old phone because it still uses a micro USB charging cable. Okay. And I want to plug it in, and it probably won't show that it's charging. Let's see. Nope. No indication that it's charging. Okay, so pause. Okay. Now we're outside in the sun. So you see the solar panels there? See the solar panel there? Okay, that's not. Come back here. All right, and then I'm gonna plug this in. And we don't. Okay, so I switched the wires. I'm gonna plug in. And it says to charge faster, charge with the cable provided with the phone. So it is working. Matter of fact, you can see the little power indicator. So this is the correct way. Now I'm going to take these pigtails off, but I'm going to connect these wires more securely. So it was important to, to test that connection. Otherwise, if you did this, and then you get out and plug it into the Arlo, and then it's not charging, you're like, what the heck? Well, I already proved that it will charge. No, by by swapping the cables so I had it wrong the first time now if you used a, um, a standard USB cable like I did the first time the positive is red the the um, the other the black is ground but since I just used the AC plug. I couldn't really tell until we just try it out. So this is going to create a secure connection between the wires. And then after I do this, I'm going to tape them together. Okay. So I replaced the the uh, pigtail connectors with solderless connectors. So that's going to provide a a uh, solid connection. No, I just got my glasses on, so I should be able to see this better, right? So I'll get my electrical tape out. And I'm going to cover this up. And once it's covered up, we'll be ready to take it over to the Arlo. Now, when I get it to the Arlo, I'm going to plug it in, but I'm not going to mount the um, the solar panel. I want it to. I'm going to leave it kind of loosely on the uh, the roof just to make sure that I'm getting a a good connection. Because the last thing you want to do is plug in a charger that doesn't charge your phone. I don't know if you ever got one of them cables from uh, somewhere like. 7-Eleven that looked really cool, but when you plugged in your phone, your phone actually went down in power instead of up. Well, that's what I don't want to have happen now. So after I've had it plugged in for the day, and it shows that it is increasing the battery power, then by the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and, and mount the solar panel onto the roof more solidly. Now I'm setting this solar panel kind of loosely on my um, rain gutter because I want to make sure that it's charging the Arlo. That was your signal to pause. So we got it plugged in. Solar panel 
hanging loosely. Okay, now we're going to look at the device and see if it's charging. Device settings. And there's no indication that it's charging. Got it to show that it's charging. I don't have the camera positioned exactly the way I want it, but I just want to make sure that it's going to show charging. And I see this go up, so it shows 57% right now. And later this afternoon, hopefully I see 60 or 70%, and that will let me know that I can secure the solar panel on the roof. Okay, we've had the solar panel connected for a little over an hour. So I'll check out device settings. And the percentage, battery percentage actually went down. Went down to 57%. The other thing we notice is the Wi-Fi signal shows much less. So it shows that it's plugged in, but went from 57 to 52. So this particular connection is not working well. I would suspect it could be the plug. It could be the solar panel. And that was probably the reason why uh, I didn't use that light anymore is because the light wasn't that bright and that solar panel could have been affected. That is an old solar panel. So it's up in the air if I decide to buy a different solar panel to try it. But at least now you know how to do it if you'd like to try it a do it yourself -er. So now that you've watched that video, appreciate you watching it. But how I would do it differently is shave that cable, uh, probably with a, a knife, just to make sure that I cut a little bit of it, just to make sure it fits more securely in the Arlo. However, we decided to change the camera angle and actually put the camera angle onto the bird feeder so we don't need the solar panel because it's actually easier to get to to change out the battery and everything. So anyways, uh, hopefully you found this video informative. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Um, and please let me know how you did with your solar panel with your Arlo.